Hello, everybody. I'm Pete Bardunius, President and CEO of the Greater Mahopak Carmel Chamber of Commerce, here for local Putnam today at a momentous occasion. The trains are running for the first time in some 50 years here at the Freight House Cafe in downtown Mahopak. And I'm here with a cast of very distinguished folks, but first I'm going to start with the proprietor of this establishment, Ms. Donna Massaro. Donna, what does it feel to you today to see this going on, your official dedication and our train show here for the holidays? Well, my lip is quivering and my voice is a little shaky. I feel very emotional and overwhelmed. It's just wonderful. Piece of history coming back, I feel like. It really is, right? Yeah. You've, you've looked into a lot of this. You've met with Joe Schiavone, who's our local uh, train historian. Um, so many things that are, that are on, and you're right in the middle of all the history that takes place here. I am. It's a privilege. Being a local and born and raised in the town, it's, I'm, I feel so privileged that I found this little treasure. I feel very lucky. It is great. And, and you, as you've told us before, the freight house it was built in 1872, correct? This is where they house the freight from the New York Central. Across the uh, way, we have the original train station, correct? So Mahopak really has a lot of treasures that people don't really understand that are actually still here. They actually used to cut blocks of ice out of Lake Mayapak and wrap them in sawdust and put them on the train. And then the local milkers would come down, the local milk farmers, and store their milk on that freight train and send it down to the city. So that's pretty cool. Well, that is awesome, Donna, and congratulations and good luck. And I'm proud to be able to be here to support you today on a, on a wonderful occasion. We have some other folks here that I'm just going to go around uh, in no particular order. Hank Sorrentino is one of our display uh, helpers today and Hank we were chatting over lunch and the next thing you know we put on a train show it over lunch time and we just decided okay let's do a train show and you have a, a an end scale train that you you have yeah. here you brought us with us <clears throat> what it makes you it made you decide to put it together like that you just in the hobby just enjoying it in your living room that was it that was exactly it I have an HO a full scale HO layout running and a Lionel layout running and <laughs> I and you, something that was smaller. <laughs> and you do it just for the passion of the hobby. Right, just for the passion of hobby. Well, that's awesome. Th thanks, Hank. Uh, we have our one of our county legislators, Deanie Lobu, is here to support us. Deanie, you're very big on tourism and, and what it means to, to promote the history of Putnam County. Tell me a little about that. Yes, hi, Peter. I want to congratulate Donna. I'm so, so proud of you. This is a jewel in the crown of Putnam County. It's a part of our history. I'm so happy that it's been preserved. And it's a component which makes uh, Putnam the perfect venue for tourism. So I wanted to come out today and support Donna. Also, I want to add, as a woman entrepreneur, I'm so proud of you. Uh, women entrepreneurs are the fastest growing sector in the economy. So I wanted to come out and support Donna. This is a great, uh, this is a great accomplishment. I hope everyone comes out to have something to eat here and enjoy the benefits of this place. We, of course, have our Carmel Town Supervisor, the esteemed Kenneth Schmidt. And I know Ken loves to come down and, and be part of uh, some of the exciting events that are going on around here. Can you tell me what's on your mind today? I do, Pete. Thank you for inviting me here today. And Donna, really, congratulations and good luck. Really, you, you built a wonderful place here. And what this is is really a, like a renaissance, a rebirth of history past. So you have it. The rails are humming here at the Freight House Cafe at what is supposed to be the first annual event, I'm told. So come on down even when the trains aren't moving here, but there'll always be some excitement. For LocalPutnam.com, I'm Pete Bardunius.